Hey Fred, how you doing? You just saw a video about the Chicago River and the important transformation the river has undergone. The engineered reversal of the river is the reason why Chicago is the grand city that it is today. Now it's time to have some fun. In a moment you'll be formed into teams. Each team will construct the waterway system of the region as it was a hundred years ago. Then you will re-engineer the system by adding a man-made channel to reverse the flow of the Chicago River. We are now going back in time to the early 1900s when disease outbreaks and the pollution of Lake Michigan needed a solution. The city of Chicago needs your help. You students will help the citizens of the Windy City solve the drinking water pollution problem by reversing the Chicago River flow to divert pollution away from our drinking water supply. Here are your instructions, so listen closely. Lives of thousands are counting on you. What you have on your table is a landscape of the upper Illinois region before the glaciers receded back north, carving out the features of the region. Step one, carve the natural flow of the waterways into Lake Michigan. You'll need to dig out Lake Michigan, the Chicago River, and the Des Plaines River. The Chicago River has three main components, the north branch, the south branch, and the main stem, which will connect the river to the lake. Also, you'll need to carve out the Des Plaines River sloping down to the south. Water will flow into the Chicago River from the tip of the north and south branch and drain into the lake. Slope is very important to successfully establish a natural flow of the river into the lake. Due to gravity, water naturally flows from high to low, thus you want to make sure the rivers progressively slope downward so they drain into the lake. Use the maps provided to construct your rivers as accurately as possible. Once the lake and rivers are carved out and properly sloped, it is time to bring them to life in the next step. The judges will award points based on the following criteria. Number one, teamwork. Make sure you work together. Number two, time. Work quickly. Number three, correct flow of water. Pay attention to the slope. Number four, accuracy of landscape. Use the map provided. Number five, landscaping and artistic creations. Use the accessories provided to enhance your model. Number six, amount of water used. Conserve water. Number seven, flooding. Points will be deducted if your model floods. Step two, establish the natural flow of the Chicago River into Lake Michigan. This valve controls the flow into your model. Slowly open the valve to allow water to flow into your model. Remember, the less water you use in this activity, the more points the judges will award you. On the flip side, if your rivers or lake floods, then the judges will deduct points. So, conserve water, it will earn you points. You want to get the water flowing steadily into the lake. Make sure that the drainage tube leading out of the lake is draining properly. If not, tap the tube until the water begins to drain. To confirm that water is flowing into the lake, add a drop of red pollution into the south end of the south branch of the Chicago River. You should see the disease carrying and toxic pollution flowing into Chicago's drinking water supply. Once you see the lake turn red, you can then shut off the water and drain the lake until it's dry. After the lake is dry, you will plug the lake's drain and turn the water on again. Let the water run until the lake fills up about one inch from the top. Now you can turn off the water and place a lock at the mouth of the Chicago River. Step three, build the sanitary and ship canal. Carve out a channel connecting the Chicago River the Des Plaines River. The goal is to have the water flow away from the lake. Remember that water flows from high to low, so it's important to slope the channel progressively lower to lead the flow down the new channel. Once you've built the channel with the proper slope, you can turn on the water. The water should now be flowing down and away from the lake. Step four, add a drop of green dye into the same location as before. The green water should be flowing away from the lake. Every year on St. Patrick's Day, the city of Chicago celebrates by dyeing the river green. 
The river is reversed. Step five, enhance your landscape. Use any of the remaining time to enhance your landscape and add any fun and creative features. And now I'm gonna turn it over to you, Fred.